you, man. Fuck, man. The fuck you, man. Where the fuck you, man? man? It's not worthy of this. Bring a um, something guy's the champ out here, all right? I've known Riz since we were, we, were, we were significantly younger and you've known me since I was years well, ago. still a bit older than you, right? So I've always been yeah. old. <laughs> you've always been older than me. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. That hasn't and changed. And not as cool, right? You know what I mean? Well, honest. no. Exactly. But, but always, that's all I am. always a little bit older. Yeah. A little and bit I'll give you that. I've always boring. given you that, that you are older. Yeah. And I've known him for so long. I mean... And we were in the paddock still, weren't we? They were still like... Yeah, I remember actually when we were there and Tom would just like, in break time, just start going out and doing push-ups. And, <laughs> like, and I was like, what are you doing, bro? He and he goes, no, no, because you were doing... Well, thanks, um, mate. No, because he was, he was getting <laughs> ready for I'm Bronson, off, yeah. man. Dude, I'm dedicated. Man. Hello, my name's Tom Hardy. And I'm Riz Ahmed. And we're going to teach you some English slang. Describe uh, what a chief is by naming people who we think are chief. <laughs> And then people will understand what a chief is. Someone. It's like a last corporal and a corporal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the chief is a step up from an up yeah. But where he sits, he shines. Where he shines, he sits. Right, how fast can you do that? I've just done it, mate. Go on, I'll do a bit faster than that. That was practice. Silly time sitting in a shoe, shine shot. Where he sits, he shines. Where he shines, he sits. I was doing backing vocals on that. Okay. He was. Right. Uh, I'll do one now. You do backing vocals players. on this. Okay? Yeah, boy. One, two, three. I'm going to do the first one. The winkle ship sank and the shrimp ship, ship swam. swam. I like it came and just did the end there. Yeah, but it was, it's just a one liner, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I've got to hit ship and swam. Yeah. yeah. Pick a small one. Go on. <laughs> just make it one side. Real beating first. <laughs> yeah. Then we go in. Yeah. Like, what you do is just you make an that. example of the <laughs> smallest one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, like, <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? Like, with the raccoon in, in the Guardians <laughs> yeah, of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just rip him in half and like take a bite out of his stomach and hand him back to his mate <laughs> and then you know so you yeah, you're getting your confidence up first it's right? not even about that it's a shock and awe <laughs> so first you grab the raccoon bite a whole <laughs> bite a hole out of his face and hand him back to thanos or whatever his name is and uh -huh. say what well, who wants some of this yeah. point at chris pratt what's up you want some of this that's how i would i would go with it yeah it's a bit much it helps with you know being present and stuff and actually um <clears throat> the more I meditate the more I kind of realize that I feel like it's the key to just the intentions ultimately are but that's uh, not conscious good. is it the ego is not conscious like narcissism is not conscious what does Tom Hardy love to eat <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like actually if I'm honest I've got a bit of a penchant for those little baby pouches you know the squeezy baby food yeah. makes no no I'll do you know the casseroles anything, anything that makes life easier just turn the twist the cap and get your nourish on in him Get out the door, get back to work. I know where my limits are, and I know where yours begins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to fight as a fan? Uh -huh. uh, no one. I'm, I'm in a really good like, position there. I'm, I'm, I'm a Buddha floating on a lily pad, man. You know? <laughs> and then they see the, uh, the, the poster. Do they get scared or do they know? No, my children, um, my, my son, um, one of them, like uh, my children, is uh, he's a very big... Uh, Venom fan, but he's also a very big Marvel fan altogether. And uh, my other child, uh, they are a massive, for whatever reason, Captain America fan, which is a, a tremendous disappointment. But at the same time, that's what life is sometimes. <laughs> Your son's birthday party. Venom. Going to church. Venom. Mexican spicy food tour. Venom. <laughs> a yoga class. Venom. <laughs> okay, tea with the queen. Venom. Okay. Heavy metal concert, that's a tricky one. Venom. But he's like, his weakness is the noise. Only certain frequency. Okay, so Venom is a rugby match. Venom. And a meet and greet with Spidey. Venom. Okay. You can see who's lead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Eddie Brock is not really, you know, he, he doesn't have a chance. Really love the, the angel face emoji. Yeah. It's a real love for that one. What's, what's your, what's the reasoning behind this one? Self-portrait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's just an angel, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's in your top one, is it? Just like, oh, it's there again, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah just stare, isn't it? It seems positive. <laughs> positive <laughs> affirmation, I think one has to send that message it's like, out, like, it's, are it's, we cool? <laughs> <laughs> All the time in these, these, these it's days It's like an times. attempt to put out positivity by someone who has no idea what positivity <laughs> looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like what's a positive emoji? I use the rainbow uh, occasionally. Do you know what I mean as well? Angel <laughs> face? Is that, does that mean happy? It's got a smiley face and it's got a ring above its head. Is that bugle. You'd call it bugle? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you that. Would you, if if it is actually Bugle, will it make you happy? That's, no, that's I don't think that's his name, but I would call that you would Bugle. Call it, why would that's you call it Bugle? That's what it wants to be called. It does? Yeah, because Doug speaks to me. 
I'd call it angel face. That's, they clearly don't speak to him. I'd call, it, I'd call it angel face emoji. Angel face and emoji. I always insist on using the, the entire name. It could be the middle name. It could be. Beautiful. Come here, angel, angel face, face emoji. Angel face <laughs> emoji. Stop that. Stop that angel face emoji. See, it's got a ring to it. Really you can't do that. Can I get you to rate my bane impression? To do what? My bane. I, I to, do. To rate it. Yes. Roger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you think the darkness is your ally? You only adopted the dark. I was gone and it molded by it. Oh, I got really good at the end. That, the molded. Yeah. How did you feel about that? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The molded, you know, the molded. Do you know what? There was commitment, wasn't there? It went on for a long time. Is that? <laughs> that's brave, mate. I'll give you that. And, and I, I, I can't tell the difference between the real thing and your impression, but I really got to take my hat off to the fact that you went for that and continued on with it. Yeah, it was like, about a minute and a half. would have stopped at, at some point, but you didn't, did you? It's you, all love, Tom. You I, kept going. I did, yeah. I, now I can I can die knowing that I did Bane to Bane. So that, I commend that. That went on too long. And, and for that, I think it was astonishing. Thank you. What about the Venom character? Oh, I think he just looks brilliant. I like the look of him. I, I'm as a character. Uh, he's got massive teeth. Do you know what I mean? He's huge. He's uh, he bites people's heads off. He's got those eyes going on, and uh, I, I think he's. Uh, I just enjoy looking at him. To, to be fair, so there's a. She's talking about the character you're playing. Though. Oh. She's not talking about you. what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everything I mean, you're saying is a description really? of yourself. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, I like looking at him. He likes biting people's heads off. He's uh, got those crazy uh, eyes. And I was wondering if you'd be able to guess which quote is from you and which quote is coming from a villain. Would you be able to do that? Yeah, yeah. Let's start with something simple. It's not the violence that sets a man apart. That's Forrest Spongier. Wow. It is not the violence that sets a man apart. All right, it is the distance that he is prepared to go. Misery, misery. That's what you've chosen? I offered you friendship and you spat in my face. Never heard of it. That's Spider-Man villain. That's uh, the Green Goblin. Not my problem. <laughs> not, not, not your problem. Yet. Misery, misery, misery. That's what you've chosen. I offered you friendship and you spat in my face. My world is fire and blood. That's not mine. Mm. That's yours. What for? Mad Max. Oh, yeah, but yeah, 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 that, yeah. My world is fire and blood. My world is fire and blood. It's oh, a minute now, but they're not going steady. But they're in denial about it a little bit. But mm. there's definitely strong feelings <laughs> that they have for each other. And they've definitely done it. <laughs> they've definitely done it. And Venom was a child. <laughs> no, come on, who's that? De Niro. That is correct. Yeah, that is what? That is it's not. Bob the dog. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. No, why not? It's still away. Where'd you get, you get that from? The dog. Okay. Really. I just want to stop and tell you, this is, um, I've never been more impressed with you than I am right now. <laughs> I'm really I'm, I'm impressed. I'm going to say and fuck I, off. I just want to shake your hand. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, this is really impressive. It's, what can I do with this skill? I don't know, but you've got to but find a way of monetizing <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Mm, I wanted to lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we discuss that before we answer this? Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Okay. We right. did all of it. It was a lot of work, but you know, part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, you got. Who? Oh. Tommy Lee Jones is the other guy, and you. Legitimate. I always like. I'm. I wet my pants walking in the room for fear of talking to you. Oh. <laughs> You well, you're sitting to... on your phone, bro, so be careful. Yeah, you're electric. Because those it's phones it's are not waterproof. It's water resistant. Look at that. Have we got a towel? Yeah, that's you know, that's... Don't anyway. make your Christ. problems my problems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... You're... You mean I'm not funny? I think you're extremely funny. I just haven't seen it on camera. <laughs> okay. Often. Well, thanks for like that, that bud. <laughs> that's it. All right. How we laughed. Well, you know... Deliciously wicked. This is awesome. Gumbo Kusua. Amazing cosplay. The X-rated Venom. The face been cut off of a blow-up doll. 
Do you want to fight the Hulk? I'm going to fight them all. I want to get to know you, bro. I won't be there. Bruv, you scare me, man. Back off. Best way to bite off a head, like logistically. What's the best way to sort of approach that? And what are we talking about? If you about? want to have the whole head or if you just want to have the face. We're talking about person or chihuahua or what? What kind of creature are we talking about? Yeah. Let's say that you have a, like a, um, a parasite and that you're... Yeah, I get that. So what am I biting though? A oh, I see, I see. A, um, a, a human. Or... Human head. A human face, human head. Or, or how would you... Well, it would be the same as if I was to literally bite the head off a frog right now, wouldn't it? Size? You mean size-wise? That's kind of how it would yeah. compare? I'd just grab it mm. by, by the, the, the centre mass and I'd, uh, I think I'd get head and a bit of arms. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I've thought about this for a minute and I go back and forth about this and sometimes I think, you know, People make the mistake of trying to get the whole head in one you don't go need it straight and away, take the yeah. whole, you don't need to rush. And as a younger symbiote, that's a mistake you can make. You're trying to rush into this thing. You can take your time. You can it's start true. with the scalp and then you can start moving yourself down to the, to the you go straight. region. You can actually take your time by just going from torso and leave it and come back to it at a later point. Yeah. Because it's not going anywhere. And it's self-contained as a snack as well. Mm -hmm. So you can leave it in the fridge. You can just snap the legs off it yeah. and leave it in a corner and come back later when you've decided. That's what I guess what as long saying as it's not is moving. The lesson in a way, funnily, is, is that it's there's no one right way to, to bite a head off a, of a turkey, mate. My name's Lila and I'm 11. I've just started a new school and I'm trying really hard to behave. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? You don't want to know. Lola. I think she does though, Tom. Yeah, I think she you... wants to know the naughtiest thing you've ever done. Go online <laughs> when you're old enough and have a look. It gets worse. My name is Jimmy and I'm six and a half. I love goldfish because I think that's a golden. Do you like goldfish more than humans? Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. All sentient beings are, are important, you know, so I don't think you can love anything that's not sentient more than the other, you know. And we can see ourselves in all living things. So one has to care about everything and approach it with love. Unless, of course, it attacks you. In which case, lovingly, see it off with a big stick. <laughs> That's so profound. But love all things, buddy. Unless. Unless it's coming at you, mate. In which case. Dispatch it with the love, man. Got ya. <laughs> Got ya. Tom, you're the best. I, it wouldn't work out, but I, I somehow wish that you were my dad and you could give me the time that I showed up. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay. Either fight Spider-Man or team up with him against a bigger villain. I think you'd probably want to do both, wouldn't you? No, just to make I just it want to fight Spider-Man. What's wrong with that? To, no, well, it's, it's fine, just, Tom. Just I just thought, what, I mean, <laughs> Where's I just the thought you up? could fight Spider-Man and then after that, normally no, what happens in the no, third act no is they realise they need each it? other to beat, take on Thanos or something like that. No. That's why he's not in the Avengers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the team no, spirit that's lacking. To be fair, you are already your own team, so... Yeah. Well, there's two of them in the team, two of them in one body. Yeah. <laughs> well, the question was, would I like to fight Spider-Man or team up with him to fight someone bigger? Or I'd just like to fight him and win and then go and beat the other guy as well? I'd pay to see it. Play a villain in this movie, but if you could play any Marvel hero, who would it be and why? That's I don't believe one. that I am playing a villain in this movie. Yeah, but if you so I reject the terms of the question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing someone who's trying to make the world a better place. And uh, it's just his means are a little bit questionable. And uh, yeah, that's that's so I feel like I'm playing a superhero called Carlton Drake. <laughs> She's been converted. She's like, yeah. well, if Carlton that's Drake. That's a laugh of rapture as you found your cult leader in the form of Carlton Drake. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> if, if he was a superhero, what do you think his superhero name would be? Carlton Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you take so many roles that cover up your beautiful face? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't want to see it, but... Are you serious? Show it to us, baby. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I never really thought about it like that. Um, I don't know, you know. I should... I don't know. How does Tom Hardy always manage to look so damn cool? I'm liking what I'm seeing.